talks. I don't want to be sued or if he's just joking. Like, is he joking right now? I don't, I don't really gotta know. Well, I can't tell because the way because the way he talks though, I can't tell if he's joking or he's joking. On the first warm day, just as planned, Milo brought out his new family, and they waited for Odin. <laughs> Otis was having a little trouble getting his puppies organized. And on Aww. this glorious spring day, all the animals all around the countryside were bringing their young out into the sunshine. <laughs> the fox who hit the muskrat now had a cub. And so, of course, did the <laughs> raccoon who stole the fish. And the deer was teaching her fawn. Oh. <laughs> and mm. Milo and Joyce had their kitten. <laughs> Otis arrived, and the two families saw each other for the first time. Why? I, At first, really, I just they were a little shy. Well, I just said that before. I thought you were okay. I'm not saying that you are, though. Well, I'm not saying that you are, though. I'm just saying that you are, though. But then, oh, poor puppy. Otis <laughs> left the charge, and the puppies ran towards the kitten. Eager to meet the family of cats they'd heard so much about. This is your Uncle Milo, Otis said to his puppies. The one you pulled out of the pit, Francois asked. And all the puppies and kittens began to get to know each other. <laughs> You're a strange-looking dog, Suzette said to Milo Jr. You're dogs, we're cats, he replied. And then Otis barked. Hey, hey, hey. All right, everyone quiet. Quiet. <laughs> and after the whole group was gathered together, Milo and Otis led the way down the road. The road that would take them to the place where their lives had begun. The road that would take them home. Now the journey's over and we're heading back home with a very good friend. You're never alone. Stories to tell, stories to hear. Be a 